What up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. Today I have a large box sitting right next to me. That's why I'm moving. Today I have a very large box sitting next to me on the floor because I have nowhere else to put it. Uh, but it is from my proxy buyer in Tokyo. And this is a huge box of really cool products that I got from the Samantha Vega, Samantha Thavasa collaboration with Sailor Moon that happened a few months ago. Now I did buy some of these items directly through my Japanese address on the Samantha Thavasa and Samantha Vega website, but I was wasn't able to purchase all of them because they sold out really fast online. Uh, luckily though, my proxy buyer in Tokyo was able to get some of these uh, directly from the store in Tokyo and he was able to pick them up. So I was super thankful about that because these purses are beautiful. If there was one collaboration that I absolutely adore, it's probably going to be this purse line because they look very premium. They are premium. Some of them are insanely expensive and I don't know why I buy those, but I do. But they are gorgeous. I love how they are kind of discreet in their Sailor Moon features, but they have this beautiful quality to them. So they are durable, they last a long time, they come with dust bags. So I love the Samantha Vega line. They are just beautiful, beautiful purses. I like them more than any of the lines that I can get here in America with like, I don't even know what people buy, what brands people buy for purses here because I just stick with this line and that's it. <laughs> Funny enough though, a lot of like these fancy ladies, whenever I'm like out shopping, will be like, oh, I love your purse, where'd you get that? And I'll be like, Japan. And they're just like, oh really? Wow, that's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I wish I could get one. And I'm just like, you can't. <laughs> okay, so here's my box of Samantha Vega purses. It's actually not this big, but I have it folded over. So I'm going to show you what products I got. I got like three different purses or four uh, from this line as well as a few other little items to add on to that order as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the biggest purse and I will work my way from there. Oh, it's so pretty. So this year the Samantha Thavasa group came out with a few different purses which were dedicated to uh, either Neo Queen Serenity or Princess Serenity. I don't remember which one, but I really liked the design because they are very simplistic, but they were really nice and big, and I don't have a nice big Samantha Thavasa purse, so I wanted to go ahead and grab one of these, and then I also got a couple of handbags too. So this is the first one that I got. On the front of here, you'll notice that there's a really cute border that looks just like Princess Serenity's dress, and it's also just simple white, so it's a really pretty white leather. The bottom of it has four different little bullets, so it will sit and it will stand whenever you have it sitting on a table. The back of it has a little buckled pocket so you can stick like, I don't know, your passport in there, your phone or whatever you want. It looks like that's all that's going on in there and it's gray on the inside. And the sides of this purse have zippers. So this allows you to have a little bit more space when you zip them down and it turns into a slightly larger tote bag, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. I wasn't sure if I would like it, but I think that it does add a little bit of a nice design to the bag. One thing I will note with Samantha purses is you probably noticed there was tons of packaging on this purse. They do make sure to package it well so that none of the metals get scratched or damaged whenever it's shipping. However, it does mean that there is a whole bunch of stuff to recycle. So make sure you're recycling. I usually keep the pink packaging that comes inside of it just so that the purse doesn't lose its shape whenever I have them in storage. They also all come with dust bags as I had mentioned and I highly recommend keeping the dust bag on it whenever you keep these in storage so that they don't get dust on them and they don't get discolored over time as well. Ooh, it smells like a new purse. So as you can see the inside of this is really big. There's plenty of storage room for all of your things. I feel like an iPad would fit in here really easily. I don't have an iPad to test that with. I also feel like my little Pixelbook Go could probably fit in here really well and then I could take it with me. Uh, this thing does only have these two straps. There's no shoulder strap, but they're wide enough that you can totally carry it on your shoulder, which is nice. And a nice little bonus that I didn't realize until after I had bought this is that it also comes with this cute little wallet. 
So this is kind of like a coin purse, but like way bigger. And it does have Neo Queen Serenity's crown on the front of it. So it is based off Neo Queen Serenity. And it's also gray on the inside. There's nothing going on inside of there except for that. Um, I highly recommend if you do plan to purchase these. I've seen lots of the previous Samantha Thavasa purses bootlegged. So make sure that you're purchasing the actual quality item, not the ones that are bootlegs, because they are not as good quality and they do fall apart. Um, I've had bootlegs as well as real ones that I've compared on a previous video on this channel, so you can check that out to know what to look for. But as long as you're purchasing these generally from Japan, you're going to get the licensed real version. And they do come with a little tag that has a Toei animation sticker on it. So that's also another way you can tell to make sure you're getting the real licensed purse. So this is gorgeous. I love it. And I'm definitely going to be using this all the time. Let's move on to the next one. All right. So this next one, obviously, it's based off of Artemis, and this is a very, very small, really compact Samantha Vega purse. I've been using this quite frequently already because I un I definitely unpacked it a little early. Sorry, guys. So you can notice that like the little white crescent moon on the front, the felt has gotten a little bit discolored. I don't know if I can fix that or not, or if it's just like always going to be the color of my jeans, but that's gotten a little discolored and the felt on his ears have gotten discolored a little bit too. But as far as the purse itself goes, other than that little discoloration, there's nothing going on really with the white color of the leather. Actually, I think this one's pleather. I like this one because it's so small and compact. It's really easy for me to just stick my phone in and I do have a Pixel 4 XL. It can fit a Pixel 4 XL in here, so like a six inch phone, which is great. Uh, but it also has plenty of room for a wallet as well. So it has two zipper pockets. The front one is pretty wide, and that's where I usually put my phone as well as an external battery. The back one is a little bit skinnier, and you can put like your car keys in here as well as your wallet or some money and credit cards if you want to. There's also a little slot on the back, which is where I usually put business cards. So I found this was really useful if I was going to like a little meetup or something and that's all I wanted to take with me. It does not include the keychain. I actually included this myself. It's the one from Universal Studios Japan. Uh, but I also really like this shoulder strap because it does say Samantha Vega on it. So it's kind of sporty in a way. Very simple and really easy to carry. Okay, so that one was really easy. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm going to show you these real quick. This is a cute little Neo Queen Serenity uh, keychain that you could add on that I decided to add on because it looks super cute. Uh, this does not come with the purse. You do have to add it on as an extra accessory, uh, but you can purchase this separately and it includes a really pretty little design of her crown. There's a crescent moon on here, as well as some charms at the end of this little drop pendant thing, if you will. I thought it was cute and I think it would look really, really pretty on that big tote bag that I just got because it totally matches. This keychain is also super cool and really cute. Cute. Uh, so this little charm has a little dangly Luna at the bottom and it also features this really pretty pendant that has a silhouette of Sailor Moon in the middle on a galaxy background. And that's what made me really want to purchase this as an accessory add-on. Uh, I also just noticed that they have four different stars that are on the charms, uh, kind of like a charm bracelet, if you will. And these are colored, the different colors of the inner Sailor Senshi. So you have green, blue, red, and this orangish, yellowish color for Venus at the end. Really cute, very pretty, and I think that'll look cute on one of the purses as well. So to go along with that really pretty Neo Queen Serenity tote bag, I also picked up this wallet that is from the Samantha Thavasa Petite Choice line for the Sailor Moon collaboration. Uh, this wallet comes in a really pretty box. I love this navy blue color. It's kind of got a pearlescent sheen going to it. There's also a silhouette of Luna on the front, as well as Crystal Tokyo, kind of a silhouette of Crystal Tokyo in the background with the moon and some stars. So really, really pretty gold foil art on the front of that. This is what the wallet looks like. It's a long wallet. They also had shorter, smaller wallets too, but I usually like to go for the bigger ones. Uh, this one also has the crown from Neo Queen Serenity on the front of it, and it says Samantha Thavasa Petite Choice in gold foil. This one has a gold zipper. This one also features Neo Queen Serenity's dress, a print of that on the front of the leather. And if you open it, it's 
Oh, it kind of looks like a Victoria's Secret stripe, like a pink stripe in the inside, the interior lining. So it's a, like a dark pink and a light pink stripey interior lining, which is kind of interesting. It doesn't really match in my opinion. I think they should have gone for something a little bit different, but I really like this style of wallet. I use these all the time and they are extremely useful and they're very, very nice for fitting all of your things. The only difference with this one compared to the current wallet I'm using is there's no flap on the outside, so there's nowhere to stick like business cards or anything. So everything has to go inside the zipper interior pocket. But there is space in here for, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 credit cards, plenty of space for bills, coins, all the things that you would ever need to put in here can definitely fit in this new queen serenity wallet this is one of those items that sold out on the website pretty quickly this is a very small jewelry box from the Samantha tiara line so Samantha Thavasa the group also has the Samantha tiara line and this features a bunch of different jewelry that you could purchase I'm not really a huge fan of the jewelry line so I generally just don't purchase anything from there let me see if I can get this open for you. The clasp on here is slightly crooked, so not the best quality, I would say. But the inside lining is a dark, it's almost like a dark blue, almost black color. There's plenty of room for you to fit a bunch of rings and some cute little bracelets, if you will. And there's also a couple of keys that go with it because you can lock the outside of this little jewelry box. That feels like plastic. I don't think it's actually glass. I think that's like plexiglass on there or acrylic. And there is a really pretty little print of the inner Sailor Senshi on the front of this. And it does say Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, Samantha Tiara. I think I have two items left and both of these are purses and they are beautiful. So since I'm going for all the white purses this year, I will also show you this one, which is also based on Neo Queen Serenity. So let me get this packaging off of here so you can actually see it in its full appeal. Now, I believe this one is also real leather. This one features a very pretty pendant on the front of it that includes a little emblem of Neo Queen Serenity's tiara again, so the same thing that we saw previously. You also have the little circles that go along the top of her dress, just like the other one. Uh, but this one's a little bit different in that it has this Swarovski crystal gem or charm that's on top of this cute little bow that's just on the front side of the purse. So this doesn't circle all the way around to the back. This one is a little bit smaller, so it has the handheld uh, handles instead of the longer handles that you saw on the big tote bag. Uh, but it also comes with a shoulder strap. So you can use this instead, which I will most likely do because I don't like carrying around purses on my hands instead of just using my shoulders. So this one also has the four bullets at the bottom to keep it nice and steady whenever you're setting it down on a table. And if I fold this down, we can look inside. We have more of a, it's almost like an off-white interior lining as opposed to the gray that we saw on the larger tote. There's also a couple of little buckled sections for you to put additional accessories or whatever you want to put in there. There's one at the front and one at the back. So pretty simple, really easy to use. Also has the gold zipper and it also includes a little price tag that does have another Toei animation sticker on there. So you know that it's legit. Ooh, for a second I thought this other purse did not include the shoulder strap and I was gonna flip out. I was gonna be like, where did I get this? Why didn't it have the shoulder strap? And then I'm gonna email Samantha Thavasa and be like, send me a shoulder strap. It came with the shoulder strap. It was just hiding. Whew, I was gonna panic there for a second. Okay, this is the last one. This is based off of Sailor Moon's colors. So you have a little red bow on the front. We also have the Swarovski crystals again, and we have this really cute little chibi wand featuring Sailor Moon's wand at the front as well. Uh, this one also says Samantha Vega on the front of it, and it has the same kind of ribbon design going around the front, just on the front though. This one is pink and white leather, so it goes all the way around like that. It also has the four bullets on the bottom, and if I open this one up, same kind of design as the last one that I showed you, and this one has a pink interior lining that matches the outside lining as well. This is pretty. 
beautiful, beautiful bag. I love all of these bags. I can't wait to use them. I'm obsessed with Samantha Thavasa and Vega. I think their line of purses is absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to take these out in the wild and use them whenever I'm going shopping. That wraps up my video for today. You have officially seen my new collection of Sailor Moon purses from this last collaboration with Samantha Thavasa and Tiara and Vega. I love them so much. They are absolutely beautiful. I wish that I could get like all of the purses and all of the different colors, but alas, I would be broke and I have a mortgage now to pay, so I could only get a few. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. Thank you so much again to my Sailor Senshi for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Johnny.